Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to be doing a bit of discussion on another unique item in 3.24 and it's another new uber boss troll. That's the Tides of Time unique belt which is dropped exclusively by the uber shaper. Now based on sale listings it would seem that this item is not a particularly rare drop from the uber shaper. It seems to have a somewhat similar drop rate to the Echoes of Creation helmet and the Entropic Devastation gloves, whilst Starforge is clearly the Uber Shaper's rarest drop by a large margin. So the Tides of Time is a new unique belt themed around flasks. It grants a very substantial increase to life and mana recovery from flasks, a 100% increase to each. It also provides 25% increased flask effect and grants flask charges similar to the Pathfinder Ascendancy, the difference being that these stats apply their flask charges to specific flask types, and each of these stats roll between 0 and 3 flask charges gained every 3 seconds, one for life flasks, one for mana flasks, and one for utility flasks. So the immediate takeaway for this new unique belt is that it's going to have two strong use cases. The first is on non-Pathfinder and non-Ascendant Pathfinder builds, to help enable permanent flask uptime outside of mapping. This will be either an entry level belt to be replaced with Mageblood at a later stage of progression, or the Tides of Time can also be used to enable permanent unique flask uptime on those non-Pathfinder builds, which can be extremely strong considering flasks such as Progenesis and Taste of Hate. The second notable use case is on a Pathfinder itself, with a build that wants to empower and use multiple unique flasks simultaneously, whilst benefiting from the huge amount of increased life recovery from flasks modifier combined with Master Surgeon. Let's first discuss those non-Pathfinder builds. This belt can provide access to permanent uptime flasks as an entry level option to builds which may later use Mageblood. Those builds will need to invest into increased flask duration and increased flask charges gained modifiers to be able to sustain flasks permanently outside of normal mapping. So the belt doesn't serve as a one-to-one -one replacement for Mageblood, but it's the closest thing you're going to get for the price. As of making this video, in Softcore Trade Necropolis, a Tides of Time unique belt with three utility flask charges gained every three seconds is going for about three Divine Orbs whilst a mage blood with 4 flasks enabled is about 138 divines. Enabling permanent flasks via the Tide of Time will require varied levels of investment depending on your location on the passive tree. Non-Pathfinder Ranger builds will have it the easiest as they can spec into a lot of charge gen and flask duration near their start location on the tree, whilst Duelist and Shadow builds will also be able to achieve this with limited investment. The Duelist has relatively easy access to the Natural Remedies and the Druidic Right Wheels at the bottom right hand side of the tree, while the Shadow has easy access to Careful Conservationist and will likely already be parting through this part of the tree to reach the Inveterate Wheel. Meanwhile, for builds elsewhere on the passive tree, obtaining these stats is a bit more difficult. The only increased Flask Charges gain stat obtainable on the passive tree which isn't in the bottom right hand quadrant of the tree is the Essence Extraction Wheel, located at the Mind Over Matter Keystone, though this wheel does provide a sizable 35% increased flask charges gained. If you're trying to enable permanent flasks with the Tides of Time though, you'll likely want to make use of a Cluster Jewel or two, as these can grant the required stats you need anywhere on the tree. There are Life and Mana Recovery from Flask Clusters, or Clusters which provide Flask Duration, both of which are medium sized Cluster Jewels. The Flask Duration Cluster is the ideal choice, though it is harder to roll the correct notables as it can roll more modifiers. The Spiked Concoction Cluster Jewel Notable provides access to the Alchemist Genius buff, which grants 20% increased flask charges gained and 10% increased flask effects for 4 seconds when using a flask. You can pair that with the Fasting Notable for another 20% increased flask charges gained. Flask uptime is visible in the path of building stats for each flask, which shows how many flask charges you gain per second, and shows your flask duration and effect modifiers. The potential of a permanent uptime progenesis on something like a juggernaut or champion is crazy, not to mention other unique flasks such as Taste of Hate and Coruscating Elixir. However, I think the true potential of the Tides of Time is realised on a Pathfinder, Kind of ironic considering this belt can provide an entire Pathfinder Ascendancy Notable to other Ascendancies, 
but Pathfinder just has the tools available to really push this belt to its limit. So one of the very strong modifiers on the Tides of Time belt which we haven't discussed just yet is the 100% increased life recovery from flasks, which has the life modifier tag so it can be increased to 120% with 20% fertile catalyst quality. Now there's two modifiers which are easy to confuse with each other, and both of these modifiers change the life recovery per second that you gain from flasks. One is increased life recovery from flasks, like this one on the Tides of Time, while the other is increased flask recovery rate, like this one found on the Herbalism Passive Skill Tree Notable. Increased life recovery from flasks increases the total amount of life you recover from a flask without changing the duration of the flask, whilst the increased flask recovery rate modifier also increases the amount of life you recover from a flask per second, but it does this by instead spreading the total recovery from a flask over a shorter period of time. What this essentially means for a Pathfinder using Master Surgeon is that one of these modifiers makes you click your life flask more often, which is not ideal. Luckily, the modifier on the Tides of Time is the one which increases the amount of life a flask recovers without changing the duration of the flask, and this modifier is also the one which is more widely available, especially from nodes on the passive skill tree. A Pathfinder with the Tides of Time and Master Surgeon, and a fairly trivial amount of points invested into flask recovery on the tree, will be able to reach 4000 plus life recovered per second from their life flask alone. 100% increased life recovery from flasks is an incredible amount of this stat gained from a single piece of gear, and the only other item with this amount of increased flask recovery is the Blood Grip Amulet, which is not very favourable due to the competition for the amulet slot. However, the Tides of Time has several very powerful stats, making it competitive with very expensive crafted belts, and in specific setups, the Tides of Time is outright superior to Mageblood, so let's discuss those very specific setups. This will be one which uses a saturated prefix modifier on an Eternal or Divine Life Flask, the type of which depends on how often you want to click your Life Flask. The Eternal Life Flask recovers more life per second, but it has a lower duration while the Divine Life Flask recovers a bit less life per second, but it won't cause RSI. Then, the setup would use at least two unique flasks. Progenesis and Taste of Hate are the obvious choices here, and these flasks together with the constant life recovery with Pathfinder's Master Surgeon help to realise the true potential of this belt. Together with the 25% increased flask effect gain from the belt itself, Pathfinder using a Cluster Jewel for Alchemist Genius, and taking all of the increased flask effect on the passive skill tree, which is also taking 4 Ascendancy Notables, will be able to get 80% increased flask effect for Progenesis and Taste of Hate, while the Pathfinder going for a non-Chaos Damage spec, which only takes Nature's Adrenaline and Master Surgeon, will be able to get 90% increased flask effect, with the extra 2 small Ascendancy nodes taken. Progenesis with 80% increased flask effects will prevent 45% of incoming hit damage, which is lost as life loss over the following 4 seconds. And when you combine that with the insane recovery from your life flask, you're going to be very durable. Add in a 15% roll on Taste of Hate, which will be improved to 27% of physical damage from hits taken as cold damage, whilst also providing plus 9% to maximum cold resistance, since it's a sapphire flask. In this type of setup where you make use of several unique flasks whilst also maximising the potential of the life recovery from flasks modifier, the size of time really shines, and Progenesis and Taste of Hate are not the only unique flasks you can use for this purpose. Due to the amount of flask charges you can generate, it's possible for a Pathfinder with the Tides of Time to actually be able to keep up a well-rolled Dying Sun permanently as well, and with the 80% increased flask effect, this will provide skills fire 3 additional projectiles, and some increased area effect there as well. But importantly, the Dying Sun is also a ruby flask too, so with 80% increased effect, it will also provide plus 9% to maximum fire resistance. That would leave one flask slot open, which will most likely be a Topaz flask considering the Pathfinder is likely to be shifting most of the physical hit damage that they take into Elemental, including a Lightning Coil. The Life Flask and Topaz Flasks will provide valuable affixes to solve problems such as Stun Immunity. In this very specific type of setup where a Pathfinder is using the charge game from the Belt and the Ascendancy combined to maintain 2, 3 or even 4 unique flasks, and is making good use of Master Surgeon for the massive boost to life recovery from flasks, 
The Tides of Time is incredibly powerful. And that's really my initial take on the Tides of Time. A very good belt. I know a lot of people will say this is just a weaker Mage Blood. I don't really see it like that, unless you're using it specifically as a stepping stone to Mage Blood. This belt really fills a different niche and enables multiple powerful unique flasks to be active permanently, even on non Pathfinder builds. But it really shines when used on a Pathfinder with Master Surgeon. I may do another video or even multiple videos covering this belt because it really does enable a lot of crazy stuff and I've only just scratched the surface in this one. What about you? Are you making use of the Tides of Time in 3.24? Do let me know. I'd love to hear especially if you're using this belt to enable permanent flasks on a non-Pathfinder build. And thank you to my channel supporters over on Patreon. I appreciate you. If you enjoy the content that I make here on YouTube and you'd like to support me and my channel, you can join them by becoming a patron. All of the information can be found by following the link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.